go, come on, let's go. Yeah. All aboard. Right We're gonna go out and catch some nice big striped bass today. One fisherman, one chef, and three eager boys. You guys excited? Yeah. Setting out in a sturdy fishing boat off the western shore of Maryland, not far from the nation's capital, to ride the choppy waters of the Chesapeake Bay and fish for striped bass. The creature referred to around the bay as the rockfish. Okay, guys, Lars, Marcel, back, look. We're out here in the Herring Bay right now. We're in about 35 feet of water. The Chesapeake Bay, a vast marine nursery, the largest estuary in the United States. The Chesapeake Bay is home for most of the striped bass produced on the East Coast. 90% of them are spawned here in the Chesapeake Bay. The first English settlers to arrive here were astounded by the bounty of the bay and its associated waters. Thomas Harriet wrote in 1588 of fish most plentiful, which we found to be most delicate and pleasant meat. When George Washington showed up here, oysters everywhere. The water was clear, probably 20 feet down, seagrass beds lining the shores, 100 times more oysters than now, 100 times more crabs than we have now. He's almost here, because I see the weight. Jim Chambers has been fishing all his life. It almost got him now. Earned a master's degree in marine biology. He's an expert on fish, on sustainability, the sport of catching the big one. Spent 20 years with the National Marine Fisheries Service. When I was a little kid, my grandfather took me fishing for the first time, just like we did these boys today, and got me hooked. Now Jim Chambers is a fishmonger, a wholesaler, a regular supplier to this man, great. Robert That's Weedmeyer, great. himself a devoted fisherman, but most notably, a chef extraordinaire in the nation's capital. Go, see, go take a look at the fish back. Come here. You know, we're going to chop the coriander. Bye-bye, coriander. Chef Robert learned his trade in some of the nation's most <laughs> celebrated kitchens, was named Chef of the Year by the American Culinary yeah, Institute. Yeah, yeah. Guys, okay, stay on that side. So Weedmeyer's <laughs> first job as a chef was aboard a vessel called the Sea Shepherd, whose captain and crew sailed the Pacific, protesting overfishing and whaling. We were following a ship called the Zizemsky, which was a Russian ship that was actually killing California gray whales in international waters, which was illegal. So we went up there to expose them, and I was the cook on the ship. So if we don't have a conscious effort about, you know, maintaining the environment, you know, it'll all be gone one day. Hold it right over that pot. This is Marcel, the chef's son. Look how cool that is. Chef Weedmeyer's celebrated D.C. restaurant, Marcel's, is named for the seven-year-old. Soon the chef will open another eatery and will name it Beck's Brasserie for his youngest. Good, Beck. The